It's so lovely to see you again. Well, I thought I'd come back to do another daily activity, and this is day two. I'd just like to thank you so much for yesterday, for sending me your towers. I hope you had fun. They looked amazing. Now, as you know, I love to paint, so I thought today's activity could be some painting. And I've got a great idea that I've seen on the internet. I got so excited about seeing these things, so I thought this is our perfect opportunity to make our very own window rainbows, like this one. To make your rainbow, you will need a paintbrush, some colored paint, and a sponge some colored tissue paper, some scissors, and glue. Lots of stickers. I've got stars, but any will do. And a cup of water to wash your paintbrush. So to begin with, get your sheet of paper ready. Next, you need to squeeze out some colors on a plate or a palette. I'm using acrylics, but you can use anything. So now you have to dip the paintbrush in the water, dip it in here, and start painting strips on your sponge, as you can see here. And you're going to keep filling that up with lots and lots of red paint to start with. Or you can use any color, depending what color you want in your rainbow. So just paint all along, making quite fat strips like... So, and make it quite wet so that the paint will run really well. And you'll continue doing that to add each color of paint. So once you finish painting, it should look something like this. As you'll notice, I haven't filled the whole sponge, only in um, as much as I needed to with the amount of paint I had. But if you have lots of paint colors, you can add some more and fill the whole sponge. Now, when I've painted all of it, I'm going to get the paintbrush again, dip it in some water, and just make each section really, really wet so the colors will spread. So, we take it like this and we drag it by pushing down a little bit around and curve around to make a beautiful rainbow shape. Now you might notice if some of the bits aren't colored all the way through, and that's okay because what we can do, we can add a little bit more water on our sponge. So I'm just gonna put a little dip it in each time, make it a bit wet again. Add some more water. And just get those colors nice and colorful. So line it up again on the same bit, push down, and try and follow the same line you did last time. And you should have something that looks like this. Now, once your rainbow is dry, as we said, we are going to cut it out. Now, you don't need to cut around all of the bits. Just the main rainbow shape. Just round like this. And we don't need to get all those bits on the end. We just need to straighten that up like this. And continue until you've cut the whole shape out. Well done! So we've got a few more steps to do. So what you need is some tissue paper or some colored paper, that's fine. I've got a multicolored paper here, some tissue paper, and what we need to do is cut these into strips about this size. And you only need about eight of them to stick on the ends of our rainbow. Okay, so we're gonna glue the strips of tissue paper onto the end of the rainbow. So I'm just gonna put a little glue on the end of the tissue paper here, 
just like that. And then I'm going to stick it on to the end, just like that. It doesn't really matter what colors you use, but I love using a multicolored. So you're going to glue it on the end of the tissue paper. You're going to stick it down like this, and so on. Stick it down. We've got one more bit left to go. I'm going to use the green. Well, it's bent a little bit, but that's okay. We can stick it on. That's fine. Let's try another one. There you go. And you glue that on just like that. Now, the next part we have to do is get our stickers. And I've got lots and lots of these stars, but you can use any that you like. So I'm going to peel off the back just like this and I'm going to stick along the top of the tissue paper. Show that again. I'm going to peel it off and stick it on the edge of the tissue paper and so on and I'm going to keep going until the stars cover the whole end of the rainbow. So as you can see I've got stars at the end of each side, different colors, they're overlapping, and my tissue paper hanging off the side. So now it's just a case of putting a little hole at the top to hang it up on your window. Oh my goodness, mine's nearly ready. There's my hole ready for some string. So for my string, I've got a bit of thread and I'm just using the color of white, but you can use anything that you like. Okay, we now have our beautiful rainbow almost ready. We're going to thread the thread through that little hole. And once you've done that, you're going to tie it up, get a grown up to help you. And we're going to tie it like this and it will be ready to hang on your window. Wow, you're going to hang this up and let the other boys and girls do some rainbow spotting as they go for walks around their streets. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.